collective anxiety in these times. I wanted to share this from my perspective and let's say like that, that yes, there is happening bad situations in uh, everywhere around the world. We also had the COVID times, right? When we had hardcore uh, digesting it, also fearing for our own lives. So now we see that in the other places of the world, there is there are people dying. There is uh, it's devastating and it's 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 scary. So yes, we you have a you have a choice to dive into an anxiety or stay uh, with yourself in the present moment into your in your own peace. Because you can easily stress and still the stress is not going to help anyone. Are you joining this collective anxiety or you are taking the ownership of maintaining peace within yourself so that the outer world doesn't affect your inner peace and, and your creativity and, own, and your own being even though knowing what's happening out there. So this is how I uh, survive COVID times and this is how I'm surviving this time. New, switching news and watching it 24-7 is not helping and I wouldn't uh, suggest you to do the same. The moment I switched it on and I was watching for half an hour, I started to feel uh, the fear and to my solar plexus, it started to, you know when you have this fear, as a, the fear is like when you are at a height and you like feel like you want, you're gonna fall and you're gonna die, so the same fear of me sitting on a couch I started to have in my solar plexus felt like the, the death and the, the, the fear of your, your survival. So I switched it off and I'm like, okay, this is not mine. This anxiety does not belong to me. I want to clear it out. Everything that doesn't belong to my body right now, right here, I want to clear out. This energy does not belong to me. This is not my fear and I want to clear it out. So I did my clearings, I did my meditation that really helped me that and I'm still at the moment I started to talk about it I started feeling in my in my solar plexus as well because it's true and our ancestors also were fighting into this uh, fighting for their lives so it's also affecting me <laughs> but you have a choice you can you can you, you can draw and talk about it all day long or you can live your life and be into the and stay nurturing for yourself so that you can actually keep that energy of this earth up and in calm state sending love to those who need the most sending love and peace to the world and imagining yourself being in this peaceful harmonious world that you desire to be despite in what's happening outside, despite what's happening behind you, in front of you, neighbors or whatever it is, it's all about you. And if something triggers in you, this is perfect. Celebrate it because these triggers is uh, activated so that you can release something that your soul wants to release in that moment. And the, the events that we're experiencing is the same. So the world how we see the outside world, how we perceive, we can either take it and wear it on us or we can see it, uh, observe it and say, thank you, I will, I will stay in my present moment. And watching news is not the answer. Knowing is good, but that's about it. Stay and send this love, this present love to all these people that need the most in these hard times and stay within your center because if the moment you are not in your business and your other people's business or other people's events or series you are outside of you this is where you are more prone to depression anxiety and all these things but when you come back to yourself you can find that peace even though there's storm outside happening and this is what i wanted to share with you so how do we how do we cope? This is how we cope. This is the only way. When your time will come, your time will come. That you can't you won't be able to escape it. But all you can do and your job is and we as women we can we can connect with ourselves with our wombs, with our creator, with our higher self 
and ask what is my job here to do on this planet right here why i'm here in this moment into this uh, events that are happening worldwide what is my job here so you might not find the answer right away but the moment you ask this question you already open things for possibilities you are open to things for the tranquility within yourself because you are not going with them you are choosing to stay within you i hope that makes sense for you and if it doesn't it will one day because i'm taking this and talking from my own uh, from my own experience and how i managed to survive till now so yeah lots of love Ciao.